The woman accused of poisoning her husband fighting to be let out of jail while she faces murder charges. She's got a court appearance tomorrow. And ABC's Zareen Shaw has the latest update on this story. Zareen, good morning. Janae, hours before we see Corey Richens in court, for the first time since her arrest, her lawyers are making explosive rebuttals and now a major plea that she should be released on bail. This morning, Corey Richens, who has been charged with the murder of her husband, is now pleading to be released on bond. Prosecutors say the 33-year-old poisoned her husband, Eric, last year by sneaking fentanyl inside a Moscow mule. Investigators say Corey bought the fentanyl from a drug dealer. But according to court documents that Corey's attorneys filed on Friday, they argue the key witness to the alleged drug deal gave conflicting information about the fentanyl purchase. They also argue that friends had said just weeks before Eric's passing they had never seen Eric and Corey happier. Corey's attorney say not a single text message or other document was turned over to support the allegation that Eric ever believed Corey attempted to poison him. This motion allows uh, the public and the media to read an alternative version of what took place. They dispute a lot of the allegations that the prosecutors have put forth thus far. The Utah mom of three wrote a children's book about grief after her husband died. I kind of wrote this book on the different emotions and grieving processes that we've experienced last year. Just a few weeks before he died, court documents from prosecutors say Eric confided in a friend that he thought his wife was attempting to kill him when he got sick after a Valentine's Day meal. Prosecutors also previously argued that Corey applied for nearly $2 million in life insurance policies without her husband's knowledge, a quarter million dollars in home equity, and a substantial amount in credit cards. But the defense saying the money was from shared accounts. I think with a, a list of allegations this long in front of a judge, uh, she's going to remain behind the bars pending her trial date. And we'll see if that happens. Corey's detention hearing is, t is tomorrow, and all eyes will be on the judge and if he considers letting Corey out on bail. Which Zoreen, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.